dumb but is here to entertain you. It is really so sad that sometimes you really just can't look at somebody and know their problems, know their worries and know what they are going through, especially on the side of celebrities who are actually seen to be perfectionists and the moment they don't do what the public or viewers want, they are going to be trolled, insulted and blasted on social media. Sofun Daba is a typical example of that top actress and South African top media personality who has been a victim of a lot of social media trolls and dragons, even to the extent of body shaming her. In today's video, we are going to be revealing to you all the top illness that Sofin Daba is going through. I mean, she has a lot of health challenges which is breaking her and she tries everything possible so that the population, the public don't get so worried about her. Of course, she has been recovering slowly but surely but still she is battling with a very bad illness. Do well to watch this video right up to the end. Before I give you all the entire information proper, you're welcome onto this channel. Do well to subscribe to this channel please like this video drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell Sofin Daba is almost always mentioned as a talented person who has trouble in recent years in Zanzi the generation spanning actress and entrepreneur has endured a lot over the past few years especially since being diagnosed with sugar diabetes which she is still battling with till today because of this, she has actually reduced a whole lot and of course become really so skinny but still yet, people instead of supporting her, decide to troll her, insult her and blast her on social media because of her physical outlook. A year after being let go from her job at Generation in 2014, she was diagnosed with sugar diabetes and of course at this point she needed jobs so that she could she's going to keep up so fit with her health but still she was getting little or no gigs back then. She attributes much of her weight loss to the increased activity required by her body due to her diabetes as well. She discussed it at length on the morning show Express on SABC3. On the other hand, Sophie is convinced that the illness itself was responsible for her brush with, of course. Yes, several people even believe that she was going to pass on after seeing her body go on in day in, day out. And of course, they keep praying and wish that everything that is happening to her should definitely come to an end. That they are very much sorry for all the trolls and dragons without even knowing what was going on in her own life. Even on social media, many people are speculating that she passed away some time ago when in reality she is doing just fine because many people weren't seeing her no more. Sophie considered the emotional and financial costs of the things she had to give up due to her illness. There have been recent reports that the celebrity in issue has ended a relationship again. We know that she has actually had so many problems as far as relationships are concerned. Yes, she has gotten married to several men and of course, none of them have actually been that fruitful because they all ended in tears. Sophie Ndamba has lost so much weight of recent and seen many changes as a result of her illness, but she has no intentions to apologize for looking great or living life to the fullest. The latest photography from Sophie Ndaba is making great strides in her recuperation. The veteran actress, in contrast to other patients who feel sorry for themselves, always dresses up and does makeup before going out. She strives and does everything to always look good. She seldom works on her days off, instead opting to spend that time with friends and family. I really feel so sad for her but still, we have to keep her in our prayers hoping that God actually looks into her situation and of course pardons her for all her sins and grants her a quick recovery as soon as possible. We believe in miracles. You all tell me what you think about Sophie Daba's recent illness discovery and how she's actually adapting to all of what is going on.